Humans and honeybees really rely on each other. So humans are relying on honeybees to pollinate a lot of the crops that we eat, including some of Washington's most important crops, blueberries, apples, and more. And honeybees also rely on people to provide them adequate nutrition so that they can be strong and healthy enough to pollinate those crops. Honeybees and humans share a life-sustaining connection. Bees also provide a critical link between the land that nurtures both their lives and ours. Honeybees are the most important pollinator, contributing to a healthy global food supply. Yet bees and all insect pollinators are in decline around the world. At WSU's Othello Honeybee Pollinator Research, Extension, and Education Facility, a team of researchers pioneer solutions to help save the bees and our global future. So if we didn't have honeybees anymore or other pollinators, our diets would be very bland. We'd eat a lot of bread and carbs and not as many fruits and vegetables and the things that are really delicious that we really like to eat. The challenges honeybees and other pollinators face are complex and multi-layered. The Othello team recognizes that solutions are not black and white and problems are often solved one step at a time. Honeybees are facing not just one problem, but a lot of different problems. So things like exposure to harmful pesticides, a lack of nutritious flowers, and parasites and pathogens all coexist together to culminate in colony death. So because there's not just one problem, there's also not just one solution. And improving bee health in the large scale and the long term is gonna take collaboration, communication, and a multifaceted approach. The WSU Bee Program does a lot of work with beekeepers and other industry partners to try to tackle some of these challenges together. Some examples of work that we're doing in collaboration with beekeepers include testing new food supplements to help improve bee nutrition, testing new methods of combating some bee parasites like the Varroa mite, which is the number one cause of colony death in the United States. And a lot of our work is informed directly by beekeeper needs in the hopes that we can improve their experience as beekeepers and help alleviate some of the burdens of these challenges. The future of honeybees and honeybee health is that we are always going to need them to pollinate our crops in our current agricultural system. So really my goal is always just to support the beekeeper and try to give them more tools in their toolbox to make their experience a little bit easier and have them have healthier, happier bees that are able to pollinate our crops. From studying to gardening, Everyone can also help the honeybees. Anyone to help out honeybees can do research and learn more about honeybees and other pollinators and the issues that are facing them. And also one of the best things you can do is make sure you're planting lots of bee-friendly plants in your garden, in your yard, um, to make sure you can help support bee nutrition in your house. My favorite part about working with bees is just when you get to take your time going through a hive and really observe what they're doing in there because it is this really amazing social insect. They've got a whole society going on in there. So on those days where you can take it a little bit slower and really just kind of observe how they're communicating with each other, all the different jobs they're doing, um, it is very easy to feel very attached to this creature that you're working with. <laughs>